Hello, Black Healing Matters family. This is Danielle here at the Black Healing Matters podcast, where we offer you ideas to hopefully move you one step closer to your healing. And today, I'm so excited. I still, I'm still riding high off the excitement of having recorded our 100th episode. We are now on episode number 101 today. Can you believe it? Man, we've been doing this for over 100 episodes, going strong. Super excited about this, and I'm just so glad to have you here. If you're new to the Black Healing Matters family, well, you have 100 episodes <laughs> you can go back and binge listen to. And if you're not new, I just appreciate the fact that you're here and you've been rocking with me for all this time. It means the world to me. And so on today's Set Your Intention Sunday, you know how we do. We like to come together on Sundays to really think about setting positive intentions for the days and weeks to come. Because we know that without setting intentions, absolutely nothing happens. Everything starts with an intention. And But today, I'd like to talk a little bit about why it is sometimes our or maybe a possible reason why it is sometimes our best intentions get derailed. And that has a lot to do quite often with our habits. And habits, of course, are the things we do habitually, things we do over and over again without much cognitive um, energy, right? Without really thinking about it, we just engage. And it was said, it's been said that about over 40, 40 to 45% of our actions, daily actions, are results of habits, not results of thinking, not results of processing, but just plain simple habits. So, of course, are all habits bad? Obviously not. Habits allow us to uh, free up some of our, our, um, our hard drive, if you will, right? Our working memory. And we, put the, we can store these habits in our, deep in our hard drive so that we don't have to have, take up all of our, our RAM, that's the word, take up all of our working memory in order to get the things done that we need to do, especially things we do on a regular basis. But this can be particularly problematic <laughs> if you're trying to set intentions that in any way go against our habits. And by definition, if you're trying to set an intention for something to create something new, it means that it will likely take the place of something that you're currently doing, right? So today, let's talk a little bit about how to simply gain awareness of your habits. You know, being aware of your own habits is, is supremely important if you ever plan to be a person who is in control of your life. Because unfortunately, so many of us die with the habits that we were formed with as a child. And we never actually change those habits. And we just blame it on, you know, age or I can't change now. I'm too old to change. And we know that that's not true. The habits are powerful. And so the first step to really dealing with our habits to set positive intentions is in, in being aware is to really decide to be aware of your habits. Simply observe them like a like a scientist in a lab, you know, and you're the subject. You're the one who's being studied. If someone was studying you, what would they observe about your daily habits, about your regular routines? And not just about the things you do outwardly, but also your inner dialogue, the things you say to yourself, the things that you think about whenever a certain situation arises. This is really profound, especially uh, if you have some emotional triggers. Like, for example, every time you feel stressed, 
maybe you pick up something to eat. Mm -hmm. Does that ring a bell? Or maybe every time you have an argument with someone, you want to, I don't know, watch TV and be alone, do nothing. This is a habit, right? And so be just being aware, observing them, being the, the guinea pig of your own laboratory, you know? I'm sorry, being the scientist in your own laboratory where you're the guinea pig, that is really the first step to, to being able to change a habit. Secondly, is to really observe. So now that we decided, we made a choice, now we're getting into the actual, the action of observation, which we just talked about. And last but not least, once you have observed your patterns and you have decided, well, if you decided first that I'm going to actually observe myself, and then you've actually done that observation, now it's time to think about and decide whether or not you want to change these habits. You know, part of being a free adult, part of the word freedom really is in the choices that we make. I don't believe freedom is just some default that we, we live on. No, freedom is choosing how you want to live, how you want to show up in the world. And that is all dictated by your beliefs, your thoughts, and of course, your habits. So I hope this was helpful to you as you think about setting positive intentions for the week to come. Become a purveyor, a surveyor of yourself, your thoughts, and your habits. And then simply decide whether or not these habits deserve a place in your life. If not, then you know it's time to replace them with new habits, habits that are moving you towards your highest good. And on that note, Black Healing Matters family, I love you. Stay blessed. Happy Monday. Please share this message. If you know people need to hear it, good shot in the arm as we start off our, <laughs> our week here in the first week of April. Again, share, comment, like, call in, send me an email, blackhealingmatters at gmail.com. I will be happy to hear from you. Also, join our Facebook group. There is a really vibrant Facebook group <laughs> um, every day that are making comments and you know really interacting with this content. So if you wanna join a community of like-minded people who are also on this journey to, of healing their blackness from the inside out. Come join us over on Facebook. I love you. Stay blessed. And as always, Black Healing Matters. podcast you just heard was recorded with anchor if you want to make your own download the android or ios app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast that's anchor.fm slash podcast